Strapping bombs to your body and then picking up a jetpack sounds like a totally safe thing to do. And all that just because you have some mommy issues. It's not like Egyptians are known for their reliably safe explosives, but hey, who am I to judge, right? Still, if I were to go out, I would probably like to be remembered as the guy who flew like an eagle and detonated like a nuke. That glaring safety aspect aside, why should you play Farah? So, obviously you know that most anything strapped to a jetpack is cool. Be that you, your dog, a shark, your ex, or just plain old lawnmower. And Farah is not exception. Also, you're pretty much the only flying thing around these parts. Well, except maybe for some odd corpse or two. As it is, Farah can freely move around, which is awesome. Though, oftentimes you'll find the airspace filled with things wanting to make friends with you, yet only friendly thing will be mercy. Still, as primary weapon, Farah has rocket launcher with relatively small explosive radius. Also, from time to time, you'll be able to launch a non-lethal concussive rocket that has a huge explosive radius, yet no damage, as stated before. With this little thing, you can either clear up areas or push enemies into insta-kill pits. With all this, Farah is just like Soldier 76, they both seem like typical action FPS characters. And yes, she actually plays like one as well. Yet don't take it the wrong way, she's great, easy to play yet hard to master if you will. As for her ultimate, it's a barrage of smaller rockets that deal a whole lot of damage. So that's good for clearing groups of enemies. But do watch out as you can be killed while using this ultimate, and at that point you are still targeted as well. So pretty much a surprise attack strategy is needed. Oh, and as the last thing, if you want to destroy some shield, make sure you're not right next to it while launching your ultimate. You'll get splash damage and that's not fun. This I learned the hard way.